Hi everyone, it's Kim here with Card Creations by Kim.com and um, I haven't quite started my Valentine cards yet because I wanted to get my thank you notes, thank you cards done for all of my amazing girlfriends. We had so much fun. Um, I had my 50th birthday party and my husband surprised me and got us a limo and we went out to dinner and it was just a blast. So um, I'm making my thank you cards for them. And this is one of the designs I'm making. I have 12 cards to make. And, you know, typically I would try to find something that I could use with my Cricut or one of my die cuts, but I did this one all by hand. So let me talk a little bit about what I used. This paper here, I seriously bought when I first started scrapbooking. <laughs> it is so old and I got it at Big Lots. It's got really, really cute double-sided paper. And the paper is kind of unique because it's textured. Ooh, that'd be cute for Valentine's. It's textured paper and um, it doesn't cut real good on the Cricut though. I have tried it, so here's the designs. All right, set that aside. And what I did was I started out with a 12 by 12 and I cut a one inch strip and then I cut inch and a half squares, I guess, rectangles. And then I cut the banner by hand. All right, so then I used my Hero Arts, Everything is Better with a Friend. And I went to Joann's a couple days ago and found these adorable um, bows with little tiny buttons on them. And they were actually in the button section. And this goes with them, this matches, which is a pretty color, and that's also Ofre. And I don't see a color on that, but that's okay, it doesn't matter, but it, it does match. And then I just use some adhesive and things like that. So let's get started on the card. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. I found these pre-scored, pre-scored, yeah, pre-scored, pre-cut cards. Um, this is a new product, David Tutera. And I got these at Joann's. Now, I have tons of punches, but I'm being lazy here with what I'm doing with my carts. And there's, let me just show you the variety. It comes with the envelopes. And it comes with this punched. So it's, uh, actually I have this punch, but I, like I said, I'm, I got lazy. I went ahead and bought these and they were on sale 40% off. So I think I got them for like $6. And then there's this design as well. Let me open it up. I do not have this punch still. And then, let's see, where's the next one? And I think there's like 12 cards per punch. This is the scallop, which I do have the scallop punch, but there you go. We went ahead and bought those. And I like this card stock. Another reason why I got them. It's a nice, solid cardstock. All right. And then this one here, I do not have this punch. I'm holding my hand behind it so you guys can see it. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, no, that's all the same. So anyway, that's how it came. And um, I lucked out and got them off the clearance rack. All right. Sometimes it just is better to get something like this when you need to do something real quick when it's already pre-cut and everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stamp my embellishment first. These are a little bit sticky up so I'm gonna flatten that out a little bit. And I'm doing this so that I know where I'm gonna put my banner. And everything is better with a friend. It was such a fun evening. There we go. It's a little crooked. Wah. Okay. I don't like those crooked. I'm going to use this um, with a different card and I can cover it with a layer. So let's get a different one. Let's see if I can do this one a little better. It's hard when you have a camera. Oops, and I just bumped it there. Could be using a ruler. That would help. Okay, that's good. Yay! 
set that aside. Okay, so for the banner, I piled them all up like so, and I just hand cut the inside like that. And then I put, took my hole punch, and I've got this one here. I'm looking for the size. Does not say. Um, but it's the perfect size for the ribbon. I'm going to punch a hole there. And. Okay. Okay, I think that will go through. Yep. That was strange. All right, not a big deal. Because that side's going to be down anyway. All right, so that's going to go here, and these are going to go here like so. I'm going to get out my ribbon and just sort of eyeball how much I might need. Uh, I'm going to say that's about eight inches. And we're going to start stringing it through. been going around you know different places like Target and Walmart and other places that sell cards and just getting inspired and I saw one it actually had the banners were more manufactured manufactured hmm, just made up a word Manu manufactured um, and they were like stamped so uh, you know but it was sort of a design like this where the banner came across and I thought, oh, that'd be cute for my thank you cards. String that through. Yeah, it was funny when I was trying to find paper to match the ribbon and the bows and everything. I came across this notepad. I thought, oh, memories of when I first started scrapbooking. I need to have a garage sale to get sell some of my stuff that I don't think I'm ever going to use. So many scrapbooking things. You never know though, right? That's why I always say, you never know, I might need this. Don't want to get rid of it. Okay, so. Or I get rid of it, like I give it to a friend or something, and then I go, oh shoot. That's right, I gave that to so-and-so. And then I get all bummed. So that's the placement of them, but I'm going to bring these down a little bit because I have my bows to put on. I'm just going to place it on the card just to see what it looks like. I thought these were the cutest things, and I thought to myself, gosh darn it, I can make these. Don't be so lazy, but oh well. All right, so that's going to go like that. So on the back of these... I tried to make these as even apart as even. Wow, I cannot talk. Tried to make it even here. How's that? And I'm just using some Elmer's dot adhesive that I got from Walmart. All right, so. That's going to go like that, and that's going to go like that, and, oh, I don't know if you heard my stomach growl. That was funny. Bring this one up a little bit, which is good about this glue, but this, this paper is tricky. It does tear easily. Look at that. How cute. Okay, so I'm just going to use some score tape, and I actually got this score tape at Joann's and I am impressed with it. Uh, it's not as sticky as, let me just pull out this other score tape so you can see as a reference. It's not as sticky as this, but sometimes that's better because you make a mistake and then you're like, oh, well, so much for that, huh? All right, so we're just gonna put that little bow right there. And, This little bow is going to go right here. 
don't want that sticking out. Tuck it in there. Kind of finishes it off. Then I'm going to take my scissors and trim here. And I have a little bit of a concern about this being over the edge. It's going to get smashed in the envelope. But I think I can get over it. All right, so clear off some space here, and there is my card. Everything is better with a friend. And then I'll write my little thank you note on the inside. Okay, so nice and simple. No die cut machines. Everything's done by hand. Real quick card. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.